You are the fire. The action happens right now on Mari. It's an outrageous hour of DNA drum. Valchez has been here before. Rumor has it, Valchez has 21 babies. All 21 kids are not mine. Three women were proven wrong already. Not the fuck. Not the fuck. Yeah. You are not. Today he's back with the fourth different woman. Today is a new day. Well, you're three for three. Ready, both of them. Could we possibly hear not the father again? Valchez, Delilah is not your average single mother. Delilah was born HIV. I struggle every day with this disease. And to make matters worse, Kyle denies that he's the father of her baby. People can pity Delilah all they want, but that doesn't mean she didn't do me wrong. How do you have a man with you since day one and it's my baby? Hey, no, don't tell me me that. Me. See that woman? Is Kyle truly the father? Kyle? And it's two against one. I am 100% sure, and I'm 200% sure Julius, Julius is tonight's father. The two babies look alike. Yes! yes. Look, the two babies look alike. They twins! Is he the father of one, Julius? two, Julius? or none? Oh, Shocking DNA results. Next. This is Shamika, and this is Tierra. These women, they don't really like each other, never did. But they have joined forces today to prove to this man, Julius, that he's the father of Shamika's three-year-old daughter, Tanaya, and Tiara's eight-month-old daughter, Periana. They say he loved them and then left them and then began to deny these two adorable children. Watch. I'm sick and tired of that no good, bitch-ass Julius denying our kids. I am 100% sure that Julius is Teriana's father. And I'm 200% sure that Julius is Tanaya's father. Julius broke both of our hearts. Now he's denying both of our kids. For the last three years, Julius has done nothing for my baby. All Julius has done for my baby is buy her one case of pepper. Julius has missed every holiday you can name. And today, I'm fed up. Both of our kids look exactly like Julius. They're sisters. He's just too stupid to realize it. Today, we're going to prove that he is the father. And he's going to take care of our kids whether he likes it or not. Now, what do you think of him? What do I think of him? Yeah. He's, he's stupid. How could you deny a beautiful baby like that? You were in love with this guy. Yeah, I did love him once upon a time. But, Marvin, how could you love somebody to deny a baby that's that beautiful? Okay, how did how? it... How? You all worked together and then you got pregnant. Mari, I've been knowing this man for 11 years. Like, he was my first. He was my everything. But how could he be my everything when he denied my everything? My baby mean everything to me. That's my pride and joy. I love my baby. That is everything to me. That's, that's all I got. If I let somebody hurt, that would tell me that I'm nothing. Has he ever done anything for, for Tanaya? Have he done some? If he done some, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> Tiara, you got together with you. Yeah, but at the same time, Murray, he, he was so nice. I saw the guy, he was like the best. I don't know, he just changed. He just... He changed? I yeah, her. I wouldn't have had the baby bound if he was acting like this. I Come on her. now. Look at my baby, Murray, look. They look just alike. Look, look at this. Look, look, the nose, look at the ears, Murray, look. Yeah. All that, the same thing. They look just I look like twins. They the same height. They the same damn height. Two babies look alike. Yeah, look, 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 one of your own family members told me I was not Tanaya's father. I know you was cheating on me at the time you got pregnant. You a lying shady woman and I don't have time for your games. Tanaya doesn't even look like me. And she doesn't like to be around me. I have no connection to her at all. And you, Tiara, I will always catch you on the phone with other guys. 
Maybe one of them is the father. Teriana doesn't look like me either. Both of y'all are in my business for no reason. And I can't wait till Maury say, hey, I'm not the father. He says it. He uh, says his kids don't look like him. Sit down. Don't he look says like him. Come on. Julius. No, I got to say Here's right. Julius. Julius, come on out. I've done no this shame. kind of show. Tell I have never like seen the ladies move closer no to the guy. No <laughs> Julius, yeah. you the father of these babies? No, I'm not. Why You're not? not? No, why no, not? No, if you're not, why not? Julius, why not? 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 Calm down. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I want to talk to Julius. He ain't got, got nothing to say. Yeah, I do got something to say. I do got something to say. And you a liar, and you know that. And you is too, and you know that. That's you is. You're Tiana's father. You gonna take care of her? Tiana or Tiana? I'm Tiana. Yes. You gonna yes, take I care am, of her? Bro. Yes, I you am. You gonna take care of Tiana if if she if she, you're the father of her? Yes, I am. You're gonna take care of both of them? Yes. If they're yours? Yes. Okay. What's the main reason why you think you're not the father yeah, for a child? Because her, I had got a call from her mother, right. and they said she was at this guy's house with right. the baby, stressed out with no clothes on, whatever. And then the guy asked her, is this my baby? Tell him this is my baby. I was telling tell her, asking her. So what I say? You said <laughs> That's what you said. That's what you said. She said she said Why aren't you the father of Oh, tell me this, because we were still together after the baby was here. So tell me why you ain't the father. We broke up so many times. We did not. Get your goofy ass out of here. No, we don't let no damn order off. Get your goofy ass out of here. Come on, man. Carry out an eight months. If I was cheap, people say no. You had the baby back me. You had the baby back him. You had the baby back me. I want to find out. When it comes to three-year-old Tanaya, Julius, you are the father. <laughs> When it comes to eight-month-old Teriana, Julius, you are the father. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't. I want you to apologize to my baby okay. daddy. All right. I'm sorry for not denying tonight. I'm, I'm sorry, Tiara, for not denying Terry I'm not claiming Terry I know you sorry. You don't got to be sorry to me. You got to be sorry to Terry Please apologize to my baby daddy. Yeah, he will. I will. will. Apologize to my baby Okay. Give him a chance. I will be there for both of my kids. I'm sorry to And I'm counting on you. Tonight. And I'm counting on you. And so are all these people who watch this show. They're counting on you to be a good dad. That's all. Thank you. Now, can my baby get her apology? Sit right here, Julie. I did. Right here. We want a real good apology, okay? I'm Kiss sorry, her feet. Okay, okay. thank you. I'm going to take care of both of these kids. And I love them very much, sweet so dear. This is my true love. This is my true love. Valchez has been here before. Rumor has it, Valchez has 21 babies. All 21 kids are not mine. Three women were proven wrong already. Not the father. Not 
You are not. Hello. Today he's back with the fourth different woman. Today is a new day. Well, you're three for three. Red me both of both. Could we possibly hear not the father again? Valchez. It's an outrageous hour of DNA drum. Ah! Everyone, this is Velma. And this is Velma's son, Valchez. Now, let me tell you about Valchez, and let me tell you about Velma. <sighs> See, in the past, Velma and Valchez have proved to three different women that Valchez was not the father of their children. <laughs> my grandbaby, my grandbaby, yeah. my grandbaby, yeah. my grandbaby. But now, they're back. Because a woman named Deneen is positive that Valchez is the father of her daughter, Deasia. Now before, now, before we speak to Velma and Valchez, take a look at their few, last few appearances on this show. You won't believe it. The first time we met Valchez, two different women accused him of fathering their children. Do you really think it's possible he could have 21 babies? No. Anisha, I know you a slut, Rebecca. You slept with me the first day you ever met me. Who's the slut? These two women or the well, guy who might have 21 babies? Could you possibly have 21 babies? Well, none of them belong to me. But Valchez's mother, Velma, was fired up and ready to set her son straight. Today, I'm going to find out yes. who belongs to Grandma. When it comes to Zion, you are not. When it comes to brain, you are not. Talk about shocking. A few months later, a third woman named Jessica came to the show positive that Valchez was the father of her baby. Why are you different than the other two girls, Jessica? I know who my baby's daddy is. She's not. Valchez, you are not. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. So, so remember, when Valchez just first appeared, he was being accused of fathering 21 children. That's right. But, he proved three of, the, three of those women wrong, so now, I guess, with Deneen, the number's down to 18. <laughs> <laughs> but Mommy Velma is furious at her son because she believes in her heart that this baby does Dad belong. belong to Grandma. Does belong to Grandma. So Deasia's just... Yo, look at him. I'm talking about look at him. They favor him. I'm talking about she's got my chin. I told you there's a thing about that chin thing. Who are you furious at? I'm furious at Valchez, because it just don't make no daggone sense. Yeah! Yeah! Baby, all over, all over. That is a shame. Yeah. You know you that baby's daddy. You know you that baby's daddy. Yeah! Where, where do Deneen and DeAsia live right now? They live with me. Valchez dropped them off about five months ago. Over to my house. And ever since, I've been taking care of Deneen and the baby. This is what your son had to say. Watch what Val De Valchez had to say. Watch. Mm. I know DeAsia is not my baby. And today, for the fourth time, I will prove these kids do not belong to me. People were saying I had 21 kids. I have already knocked that number down to 18. Once I prove the age is not mine, I got 17 more to go. It would be times that I came over to Nina's house and I was coming through the front door and I knew it was another man going out the back. She is a freak and she knows it. Deasia, she looks nothing like me. She got chubby cheeks and I don't make babies like that. I never felt any connections with the three babies from the last show. And I don't feel any connection with this baby either. So, Mom, stop taking Deneen's side, because she's a hoe. You need to believe me, because I'm your son, and I'm not the father. There he is, Valchez. Grandma. 
None of them? Yeah, okay. Well, you're three for three. Yeah. Red beef, four for four. Yeah. You're going to be four for four? Yeah. yeah. You dropped you drop Deneen and DeAsia off at your mom's house. Yeah, I just told her to come visit. I ain't tell her to stay. Oh, no, you can't tell her to stay. No, 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 no. But what happens if that baby's your blood? The baby's not my blood. But what happens if it is? Well, if it is, then I'll stand up. But I'm saying other than that, I'm not standing that up. Is no, that, is no, no, that is your baby. That is your baby. That is your baby. That is your baby. That ain't my baby. That ain't my baby. We're going to find out what Deneen has to say, all right? Here's what she had to say. That chance may have proven not to be the father on other shows, but today is a new day. And I'll prove to that chance that he is my baby father. That chance needs to shut the hell up. Cause you know damn well he's my baby's father. How dare he call me a whore? He won't got 18 kids out here. He's the whore. The only person that does something for my kid is Velma. And if anything, he needs to take lessons from his mom how to raise a kid. That chance is a low down, nasty excuse for a man. He can talk all the smack he wants. But when I prove today that he is the father, he owes me and the agent an apology. Right. Here's the man. Right now, right now, if it wasn't for Velma, where would you be? In the shelter where she belongs. I'd be in the shelter. 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 I'd be in
and her love turned to pure hate ever since she found out Wesley called the show to deny her two children, two and a half year old DeMarco and six month old Annabella. When I met Wesley six years ago, I never imagined that he would deny both of our kids. All I've ever wanted is to be a family with Wesley. I've loved him so much and all he's done is break my heart. He's kicked me and our kids out three times with nowhere to go. It was like he didn't even care. But I still forgave him and I fought for us to be a family. I never thought Wesley would stoop this low. I hate him for what he's doing. He always promised he would be there for our children and he's not and it's not fair to them. When, when did he start denying the mark? When I was pregnant, he insisted that there was a guy in our town that looked just like him with blonde hair that I slept with. Um, he kicked me out three days later. Three days later, I went into labor for our son. He showed up at the hospital drunk. You know what a lot of people are saying right now? If he were to accept your child the first time, how come you got pregnant with him again? I love him, Lori. <laughs> I love him. He's my kid's dad. You love him? I love him with all of my heart. I love him. I love that man. <laughs> you love that? Do you love that man right now? Yes. Yes. I you want to be with him right now? More than anything. I want my family to be together. And yet he denies the second one. Yep. He denies the second one. Yeah. Now, what, what did he say about the second one? What, the same guy around town? He insisted that because I was a dancer, she's not his. Oh, because you were a dancer? Uh-huh. Well, before we meet Wesley, this is what he had to say. Tabitha, I am so positive that I'm not the father of your two kids that I called the show myself. I love those little kids, but be honest with yourself. I'm not the father. Throughout our whole relationship, you was a promiscuous hoe. As far as DeMarco goes, you got pregnant while we were split up. DeMarco looks like one of your ex-boyfriends anyway. DeMarco has blonde hair, pale skin, and light eyes. Nothing like me. As far as Annabella, you were stripping at a club when she was conceived. Who knows what you were doing with those men. When this test proves that I'm not the father, I'm moving away, and I don't ever want to hear from you again. Here he is, Wesley. Wesley, come on out. You know they're your friends. You know they're your friends. Yeah, yeah, Wesley. yeah. Have a seat. Wesley, sit down. Really? You, you called the show. Yeah, I called the show. Yeah, yeah, I called the show. I called the show because when DeMarco was, uh, when he was born, right. I would have got a DNA test myself, but I was busy, you know, uh, with, right. the, with the rent, with the rent and stuff. I didn't have, I didn't have the funds for that. Right. Okay. But then the little baby was born, right? right? Little baby, your daughter. The baby. Your daughter. The baby was born. The that ain't my daughter. Annabella. That ain't my daughter. That you named. Man, you Wesley, she's still in love with you. I know she's still in love with me. Are you in love with her? No. I'm How not you in gonna love sign her. the birth certificate of a baby that ain't yours? I was, huh? I was Both drunk. Of them. I was drunk. I was drunk. I was drunk. <laughs> hey, I was tricked with Annabella. Hey, you they, were hey, tricked. They just, yeah, they just you rolled up on me. Years, Boom. why were you there when they were born? Why did you cut the umbilical cord, huh? Hey, hey, huh? I, I, I did that for you. Wesley. You because, did that for me. Yeah, I, you, I, I, I loved you. Me. I loved you. Wesley. Yeah. Wesley. Look at those two. Who do those two babies look like? Who not do me. they look like, Daddy? Not, not me. If those kids are mine, you'll take the financial responsibility. Yeah, I take the financial responsibility. But you responsibility. won't take the emotional you responsibility. You know what? No. I, I mean, don't want I'll your money. You stuff. know what I want from you? I want you down on the floor playing cars with Demarco. I want you holding Bella, reading her that, story. Hey, that ain't gonna happen. You watch and be. I don't want to be with you. That ain't got nothing to do with them with babies. Yeah. With or without Well, we're gonna them find the results babies. out right now. Results are in. Let's see what's up. Find out right now. When it comes to two and a half year old DeMarco, Wesley, you are the father. Oh! 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 Yeah, yeah, Rowan's right! Rowan's right! Rowan's right! I ain't trying to hear that. And, 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 and you, like I said, I, I like handle I the said, financial responsibility. I don't want you your know. financial responsibility, I want you involved. 
when it comes to six-month-old Annabella Wesley, you are the father. <laughs> I want you to see them, Wesley, and I want you to apologize to them for every time that you denied them. For every time that they were sick and you weren't there to uh, make them feel like better. I said, for every Christian I'll do it. Remember. I'll do it, but I'm not going to be with you. Apologize right now. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, so I love you. I'm your daddy. You guys are mine. I'll never say otherwise, and I'll always be there for both of you. I'm not stupid, and I'm not gonna fall in love with a child that isn't mine. James. <laughs> Delilah is not your average single mother. Delilah was born HIV. I struggled every day with this disease. And to make matters worse, Kyle denies that he's the father of her baby. How do you have a man with you since day one, and it's my baby? Kyle. It's an outrageous hour of DNA drama. This is Simone. Now, Simone says that her life has been destroyed because this man, James, is completely denying her five-month-old daughter, Casey. See, Simone, Simone is really struggling to raise her daughter on her own. She can barely afford to feed and clothe her child. And she says that being here today and proving to James that he's the father is her absolute last hope to survive. Has he done anything for your daughter? He ain't done nothing. James ain't did nothing. And you think it's all because of his girlfriend, Camila. Oh. And she ain't got nothing it. to do with no female. Oh. So you need to quit stunning and tell the truth. Okay, so I you want her to know huh? that me and her man is still sleeping together. Uh -oh. And she watching the show. Oh, now really? you're going to lie on Next. the TV. Now you're going to lie Next. in front of everybody. Is that right? Okay, all right. Child. Before we meet James, this is what he had to say. Listen to what James had to say. Simone, you may be 2,000% sure that I am that baby's daddy, but I am 2,000% sure that I am not. I met Casey's real father when I came to your house. That other man looks exactly like Casey. Simone, you are conniving and devious, and you will do whatever it takes to get what you want. Your own family told me you're pinning this baby on me just so you can get money. I'm not stupid, and I'm not going to fall in love with a child that isn't mine. Simone, you will sleep, cheat, lie, and steal to get whatever you want. You need to stop using me and find your real baby dad. Here's James. James, come on out. Here he is. Why aren't you the father? She called me one day and said the baby don't have no pampers, don't have no no food, no cereal. I went out there to bring her all that stuff. Right. I get out there more. Some little four foot midget runs up on me. Okay. Some four foot midget comes up to me, hollering at me like, "What am I doing here? What did I do with your baby in my hand?" So I'm telling him, "I don't know who you are. I don't know who this is." So he get into it with her. Then I figure it out. This is her ex. So I'm like, okay, I get a great look at this guy. Maury, her own relatives came to me and said, this is not my child. Sit down, James. James, if this is your child, you want to take care of this child? Of course I am. Well, then let's find out. We'll find out the truth. We'll get the answer. As long as I know you'll take care of this child if it's yours. When it comes to 11-month-old Casey, James, you are not. That's what I'm talking about. We'll be glad to help you. If you need our help, we'll be glad. No, she's not his. She's just not his. It's going to be okay. 
You don't hold it against her. I don't. I don't. She put me through a lot, though. Maury, you understand. gotta understand. I understand. She put me through hell and back. But I think she genuinely thought. <laughs> I understand you went through a whole lot. This might hurt to you, but I'm telling you, I forgive you, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? I forgive you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. <laughs> do, you, do you want us to help you try and get a DNA test for another man? Do you want us to help you? We can help you, okay? Do you need some help with this? Simone's search continues. The update is coming up. Delilah is not your average single mother. Delilah was born HIV. I struggle every day with this disease. And to make matters worse, Kyle denies that he's the father of her baby. How do you have a man with you since day one and it's my baby? Kyle. It's an outrageous hour of DNA drama. Now, my next guest, 19-year-old Delilah, is a teen mom struggling to raise her nine-month-old daughter, Nancy L. But Delilah is not your average single mother because Delilah was born HIV. And she has never in her life known exactly how much longer she had to live. But she's here to prove to her ex-boyfriend, Kyle, that he is the father of her daughter, Nancy L. Listen to Delilah's story. At just 19 years old, Delilah has experienced more pain than some people go through in a lifetime. I was 14 when I found out I was HIV positive. I didn't know what to do. I just fell to the floor and started crying. Despite Delilah's diagnosis, she's determined to live a normal life. I struggled every day, every day with this disease. I had kids not even wanting to be my friends. When I got with Kyle, I fell in love with him. We were happy. And as soon as I got pregnant, he started to deny my baby, saying it couldn't be his. Unfortunately, Delilah says Kyle has not supported her or her daughter during these tough times. He wasn't there when she was born. He wasn't there when she started to walk. He's missed everything. Sadly, Delilah doesn't know how much time she has left to live. When I was 10, my mom died of AIDS. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss her. And I just need to know, God forbid something was to happen to me, that he will be there for my daughter. Now, there is one great shining light to this story, because baby Nancy L is free of HIV. What did the doctors tell you, that there was a possibility? Um, there was a possibility, but as long as I stood undetectable and t was on top of my pills, she, she, she would be negative. As long as it hadn't broken out yes. further, as long as your HIV hadn't broken out further, yes. the chances are that your, your child would not have HIV. Three tests and negative. I ask about all this because, does Kyle know about all this? Yes, he does. And he still denies this child? Yes. Has he ever seen your daughter? Three times in my daughter's nine months. Three times out of those nine months. You know what he says? He says there's another guy, it was your, it was your other friend, because you named your daughter after the other guy. But that's because my mother's name was Nancy. Oh, I see. Nancy L, do you hear it? Can you hear it, Nancy L? Now everybody's wondering, did Kyle know that you were HIV when he slept with you? I told him a week after we got together, and we didn't sleep together until two months into the relationship. That was his decision to sleep with me without a rubber. And this is what Kyle had to say, watch. Just because I'm a good guy does not mean I'm the baby's father. People can pity Delilah all they want, but that doesn't mean she didn't do me wrong. 
She said she called to tell me she was pregnant, but that's just a fairy tale. I had to hear four months later from a doctor that she was pregnant. Delilah didn't include me in any aspect of her entire pregnancy. She didn't tell me about the baby shower or the delivery. She was heartless and self-centered the entire time. Not to mention, she named this baby after another man. I asked Delilah for a DNA test, but all she did was procrastinate. Bottom line, if I'm not the father, I'm done with your nonsense. Here he is, cut! <laughs> Kyle, you know the backdrop of the story. I mean, it, it, first of all, this child is H HIV free. I assume you don't want to be with her, right? Not at all. Then why'd you sleep with her? Why'd I sleep with her? At one point in my life, I did love her. I proposed to this woman. I gave her a ring. I offered her everything I had. All right then. So if you knew that, you should have never been denying her when I got pregnant with her. Denying her? I'm you sitting here at work, up at school, uh -huh. working hard, uh -huh. and then I'm yeah, going to exactly. hear... No, working, let me talk. Working, you had your chance you to speak. Money, let me you talk, woman. you can't take five minutes hey, out your hey, day. Hey. You can't take five minutes out your day to pick up a phone just Father, to see no, how no, your no, daughter's no, no, no. doing. Let me talk, woman. Even if you let me know there's a possibility. You going to let me talk? Even if you know Calm down. Calm down. Let me talk. You got your words out. Mari, let me tell you something. Yep. I go to school. I'm working hard. I'm further my education. This girl... She dropped out of high school. She don't want nothing. She low life. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm a low life. So, I'm a low life, but I'm taking care of my look, daughter. Listen, I'm the listen, one there for I'm my daughter school, every day. At work. Every at day. Work. What do you do? She gonna tell me. Okay, she told me. She told me okay, about okay. her pregnancy. She never told me nothing. Oh. So, I, I get a message from her. She sends me a message on MySpace saying, "I'm just gonna, <laughs> right? MySpace. I'm just gonna put you on support. And my man's been with you since day one." Click, my man's been with me since day one. How do you have a man with you since day one and it's my baby? All right, it takes any man to make a baby, but it takes a real man to step up and be a father. I don't have to call you. I don't have to be, I don't have to be on top of you to call you for you to be in You don't have to be on top of me, but you need to let me know that I'm the father. This is your child. If this is my child, this, this girl will receive more love than any, you know, really guy can give her. And you know she, no, she knows I'll be the best father. Hi. You still have feelings for her? Yeah. I got feelings for this girl. If a lot. you think that if, if it turns out that you're the father of this child, is there a chance you all can get together? No. <laughs> well, let's not even worry about that right now until we find out the results. Thank now you. Now that I know you'll be a good father. When it comes to nine-month-old Nancy L, Kyle. Is Kyle truly the father? Kyle. <laughs> Simone's search continues. The update is coming up. You are the father. You're up on stage. It's an outrageous hour of DNA drama. Ah! At just 19 years old, Delilah has experienced more pain than some people go through in a lifetime. I was 14 when I found out I was HIV positive. I didn't know what to do. I just fell to the floor and started crying. When I got with Kyle, I fell in love with him. We were happy. And as soon as I got pregnant, he started to deny my baby, saying it couldn't be his. Just because I'm a good guy does not mean I'm the baby's father. People can pity Delilah all they want, but that doesn't mean she didn't do me wrong. Not to mention, she named this baby after another man. If this is your child, if this is my child, this girl will receive more love than any guy can give her. When it comes to nine-month-old Nancy L, Kyle, you are the father. <laughs> Listen, listen here. You gonna listen here. Hey, 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 hey. Go hold your daughter. Gonna, go hold your daughter. Go yeah, let me hold see your my daughter. But you're gonna change your name. You're gonna change your name. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's an outrageous hour of DNA drama. Ah! You are not. After that shocking DNA result, 
Simone says that she is ready to test the second man for her baby's father. Keep watching because we have given this man a DNA test and Simone will be back to hear the results on an upcoming show. You are the father. You still have feelings for her? Yeah, I got feelings for this girl. And what happened to this couple after the show? We spoke to both Delilah and Kyle. And although they live in different states, they both say they are in love with each other and are working out a way to become a true family. We wish them the best of luck. Until next time, America.